It's incredible what can happen when we dare to drop the armor that protects us, to open ourselves to new experiences while not shying away from revealing our personal, imperfect, or even fractured self. This week, I've exercised alongside, received messages from, met with, and tagged into posts of women who are bloody proud of the woman staring back at them from their mirror. These women woke up one day and made a decision to be their best self, to be self-aware and to show self-love. They decided it was time to not fall victim to their inner voice any longer that says it's too hot, it's too cold, too windy, too wet, it's too early, too late, they're too tired, too busy, or that they should be spending that time with their family, but instead they're working on themselves. These women are strong, not just in body, but in mind. They chose to fuel their body with the right foods. They supplement their nutritional needs to ensure that they get what their body deserves. And they surround themselves with people who know will keep them accountable. I can't put into words what it means to me to have these women share their transformations. I just feel so grateful they allow me to celebrate their wins with them. Like most women, I've not always looked in the mirror and been happy with my reflection. Rather than seeing and appreciating my body for the intricate, complex and incredible creation that it is, I allowed my mind to project all that I'd been bombarded with over my almost 45 years of turning the television on, flicking through the magazine, scrolling social media feeds and seeing all the billboards. It's absurd. I've called myself fat, frumpy, floppy, dimply, lily white, ugly, stupid, flat chested, big butted, and so much more. Yet my body has taken me to places that are forever etched in memory. It's crawled, it's walked, run, jumped, skipped, ridden, and swam. My body has hugged people's tears away brought people laughter and joy and its finest achievement has been the creation and birthing of two incredible little humans. So why on earth did I berate it for not being perfect and what the hell is perfect anyway? One day I had had enough. I was sick of not feeling like I was in control. I was tired of being the sideline mum and not playing with my kids. And I was fed up with missing out on the fun in life. So I began to look deeper into why. What I found was I'd been doing my best. I'd put all the right foods on my family's plates, but it just wasn't enough. Our food simply isn't what it used to be. I also found that those that I'd been watching live a more fulfilled life were surrounding themselves with the right people. They were feeding their brain with books, podcasts, clips and audiobooks to learn more about who they were and more importantly what was possible for them. I found a way to empower myself and I loved the new me. I finally slept through the night again and I no longer ached and pained even when I hadn't done anything and I have the energy to do the living part of my day. And I laugh way more than I cried. This is me, all 44 plus years of me, at a time where I feel confident, strong, courageous, determined, capable, best of all, enough. You know, we are not determined by the way we look in the mirror. However, we can only be as good as our body feels and works. And if we're not feeling on our game mentally and physically, what hope do we have of living life fully? So don't just settle for what's left of you at the end of the day. Look for what will create the best for you and help those around you do the same by inspiring positive change. My goal is to help women who feel like I used to feel and then help them find their spark again. For me, it all started by creating a healthier body. And I did that by adding a simple three-step nutrition system to my mornings. It's not difficult. It doesn't take a lot of time. 
and it's not about adding to your already busy overflowing workload. It's simple yet it's extremely effective and I would love to show you how.